Center, welcome back. As we head into 2016, there will be quite a few unofficial report cards coming out on Detroit and Southeast Michigan. This week, an official report card was released by the Detroit Regional Chamber. Let's dig into it with the president and CEO of the Detroit Regional Chamber. Good to have Sandy Beru back with us. Sandy, thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. Really interesting stuff in this study, which I think is uh, is good and bad. Mm -hmm. It shows tremendous growth on a lot of fronts. A lot to be excited about. A lot to be excited about, and yet some people would say, uh, well, our gap was such that, of course, the percentage growth looks better than it really is. How would you answer that? I think that's a great encapsulation. There's really three takeaways from our State of the Region report. Number one, we've made tremendous progress since 2009. The dark days of the Great Recession are clearly over. The city's coming back. There's a lot of great strength in the region. All good stuff. The second point, we have some really serious systemic challenges that we have to address yeah. in Southeast Michigan. Otherwise, we're not going to thrive long term. And thirdly, to your point, Devin, if we really want to be a leading class region, if we want to be like Seattle or Denver or Dallas or Atlanta, it's not enough for us just to keep up with the Joneses. We need to make outsized gains for a long period of time in order to catch up because we've got some pretty significant deficits yeah. in some key areas. Which I think you can you see some outsized growth so far in trying to catch up. Before we uh, dig into some of these, I, I, I want to point out, I think it's really interesting, when you're talking now about the Detroit region, you guys have really expanded your borders. This is no longer a three or four county area you're talking about. Yeah, we've codified through a formal memorandum of understanding the 11 counties in southeast Michigan. And there's a strategic reason for that. One, we think we have a lot in common, which is true. But also, when we go to market internationally, we want to go with the biggest team possible. Just like a football team, the more players you've got on the bench that you can choose from, the more assets we can take to the international marketplace, the better we are. 5.3 million people, that's what's in southeast Michigan, the 11 counties. That's a medium-sized city in China. Yeah, exactly. think about that. Fair point, yes. But that means we're including Flint, Absolutely. Uh, Ann Arbor, Monroe. I mean, it's all, uh, all grouped together now. It's basically everyone who uses DTW as an airport. Oh, well, there you go. That's, that's a great way of looking at it. The first one I want to talk about, uh, let's look at the, we've got some graphics together here. Uh, gross domestic product growth. 18% growth for the region is a ton. In fact, only Dallas did better than us nationally on this. Uh, but again, this is one of those where we've got a lot to do, a long way to go. Exactly right. So, you know, again, tremendous progress by the way uh, my my friend in Dallas who has the same job I do in Dallas called me and said hey we're still number one <laughs> and I said well, listen we're right on your tail but here's the thing when you look at uh, GDP growth let's just talk about you know per capita income for a second so uh, we have a ten thousand dollar a year per capita income gap between us and some leading cities like Seattle or or, yeah. or, or Dallas or places like that so yes we're making great progress but that shows you how much further we have to go I tell all my friends in Dallas, they may be big D, but we are the the D, D exactly the only right. D. Uh, the unemployment gap used to be way too large between uh, the Detroit region and the rest of the country. It's been, it was seven percent in 2009. The gap now between uh, the unemployment rate here and the rest of the country has shrunk down now to a much more manageable, almost one percent. One percent, one point one percent exactly. Yeah. So in 2009, our unemployment rate in Southeast Michigan was over 16 percent. And that was 7% above, over 7% above the national average. Now we're within about 1% of the national average. But again, that goes to one of my points. It's not good enough. Okay, so we're celebrating, hey, we're within 1% of the national average. Let's not be within 1% of the national average. We need to get below the national average yeah. for an extended period of time because we have a lot of making up to do here. I think a great barometer of uh, how attractive you are uh, is to the way the rest of the world looks at you. And look at this graphic now. 109 foreign-owned companies uh, providing 15,000 jobs in our region. Uh, and I believe that's 127 different projects that are going going on. Uh, you want to be a region that's attractive, not just us, but uh, beyond the borders, right? We've been hugely successful in the city of Detroit and across the 11 counties attracting foreign direct investment. And in fact, in the new year, we're, we're going to redouble our efforts working with the counties and the city to really attract more there. Because in 2013, we only had uh, 9,000 jobs from foreign direct investment, so a significant gain. Lastly, and this is the one I think that really causes you a great deal of concern, uh, we were, uh, have always, of course, historically been a place where you could come out of high school and get a really good paying job in a plant. Uh, 20, people who are uh, 25 years and older, 
with bachelor degrees, we remain well below the national average and last among our peer regions. So we are last in our peer group, uh, in the list of peer group that we look at as a Detroit Regional Chamber. We are a little bit below the national average, but the delta between us and leading regions is huge. Yeah. So if you take people with bachelor's degrees, associate's degrees, and certificates, we have roughly 40%, 40 percent, 40 plus percent that have that kind of certificate or degree, we need to get to 60%. Let's add some voices to our conversation. We'll take a quick break. We'll continue to talk about the findings here. Where does the Detroit region go now as we move into 2016 and beyond? This is Flashpoint on Local 4.